right device for the mic. Hello. There was three people in the chat that said that they were first and Oscarilla was actually first. So, sorry, Jack. Sorry, Bob. James Lawrence fourth, hello. Oh, that's right. I had a button that I have to press to tell the Discord that I'm going live, didn't I? Shit, where is it? Oh, hello, everybody. How is everyone? Are the mics working? Yes, it is. Video working? iTunes? Don't need any more. Webcam? No audio. Good. How's everyone going? Welcome to the first stream that I've done since, like, start of April. Something. But that's not true. We flew the 737 when it came out. Never mind. It's been a while. Yeah, a little bit little bit um we are i can remember which scene i need to use that one yeah until i crack the shits with uh fly live for not working and then we change to the other scene um jack g'day james james uh bob jack jack you've said hi twice and oscarilla hello um if anyone else is there just put a quick message in the chat so I can say hi to you. Uh, this is oh, our aircraft today. Oh, and James is in the Discord with me. So hello. Um, yeah, this is our aircraft today. We're going from Melbourne to Sydney. We're doing it on VATSIM. Doing the milk run because that's what you guys are always asking me to do. So that's a thing. Um, press that. There doesn't seem to be much traffic around uh, in Melbourne at the moment. Have a look. Oh. Isn't it spill milk run today? Uh, is it? <laughs> is it actually? <laughs> because that would be absolutely typical. That the day that I do milk run, this has happened before, that I do milk run and it turns out it's spilled milk. They spill spilled milk. Darwin, Alice Springs and Broom. Oh, well. Gonna need more speed than that, yeah. Seven eight seven doesn't have wing flex. <clears throat> wing flex. Oh shit. Uh oh. Go on vertical. 
He's very good, very good. So am I. Da 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 da. Long day to have a dead computer. Oh uh, well, there's still there's still uh, ATC on here, so we're still gonna do it. Uh, uh, what other aircraft are here? See, there was a couple of them. They may not be online actually. Oh, wrong button. There's a jet star. And I think that guy's a jet star as well. Anyone else? Oh, oh shit. Oh shit. Stop playing with the uh, drone camera. Um, all right. Double check. Yeah, there's the, there's tower and there's center at both Sydney and Melbourne, so we've still got coverage. Eh. Oh well, what can you do? That's it's just typical that I've done that. Uh, press the button. One's the overhead six. Oh, seven. Oh, God, which one's overhead? That one, five. Is that tank? Da, 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 da. Nah, it's too long. Alice Springs is too far. Performance has gone shit. Probably from panning around too much. Wake up at six and catch a Dubai air wing. No, God no. Um alright, let's get uh I had a problem with this earlier today where it imported the this the, the AOC in it, but it wouldn't do the in it for the flight plan. I'm entirely sure why. Oh, yeah, that's because I've changed the time in the sim because I don't want to be flying at night. Let's see. Aircraft position in that. No. no, it's got it this time. It kept throwing up an invalid uplink earlier today. Oh well. X. Green. Uh, 350. Probably should get them uh, boarding. Bob asking how you are, James. Yeah, I had a pussy on my chest. Aussie Six continues to really not like his job. All right, that is boarding. Um, 
whoever the tower controller is here obviously is not doing uh, EDCs. Zero five. Not too bad. Aussie Six is filled with sorrow and sadness <laughs> about the job, yeah. Um, all right, one, two, zero, five is tower, then we've got the uh, center on three, seven. Check that up. Nice. Oh. Uh, last station transmitting F U twenty seven five. I didn't get it. All I got was uh, dead air. Uh, I didn't catch your call sign. Could you be that, please? Uh, strategic Alpha Golf Charlie two four five. Call sign strategic. Ah, uh, strategic two four five. You are clear to Sydney via Dozel. Flight plan route: Dozel one departure, runway mm -hmm. two seven. Climb by the seat five thousand. Squawk six zero five four and departure with center one two three decimal seven five. Why is my performance going to hell? Uh, Actually, kick two four five is clear to Sydney motor so plan through those one five zero eight two seven climb mate. Climb to five thousand feet. Squawk at six zero five four and departure. We've sent our one, two, three, that's one, seven, five, strategic two, four, five. Strategic two, four, five. Alright, cool. Let's uh, stop waiting for the IRSs. We're waiting for boarding to be done. Tower, good day, just half five, ten, just confirming our clearance is still active. We got it from ground a while, a while back. We've just been um, stuffing around in the ground here. Ah, uh, just half five, ten, that's perfectly fine. You're still good to go. Thanks, mate. So we'll be in touch soon. Just waiting for a company aircraft to um, to log on. All station information November is now current. Changes winds two four zero at one knot. Clouds fuel one thousand one hundred. Broken two thousand five hundred. Q and H nine nine zero one. Sounds like he's eating. Target A answer 26, uh, request clearance Sydney. Answer 26, you are cleared to Sydney via Dursal. Flight plan route, Dursal 1 departure. Climb by the seat 5000, squawk 7231, and departures on the centre, 123 decimal 75. Sydney via Dursal 1, uh, 5000 on the altitude, squawk 7231, and uh, departures 12375. Yeah, that's 26, and it's a uh, nice to see ANSAT still flying, even if only digitally. Always nice to have a throwback. One, two, three, one, and. Uh, is that a wild Oz Gorilla in the st strategic? Yeah, it is. Uh, yeah. Envoy 50, ready on Sapa, runway 27. Uh, yeah, Envoy no. 50, runway 27, clear for takeoff. No one remembers Air Australia. Runway 27, clear Because Air Australia is the best memorable as Ozjet. I mean, Air Australia only existed for like a month before they went under. Strategic, and yeah, like, how many of those A320s actually got painted? One. Yeah. It's a shame, because I would have liked to see the A330s in that livery. 
How's boarding going? Getting there. Getting there. I'm really worried that the sim is going to crash because every time I switch to external, the frame rate drops. Anyone else coming along or is it just uh, Osgrilla and I? I hope we see some more people on the next flight. The Santos de Mont's always fun. And down Lord, I, I, I'm pretty sure it already is. I already turned down my settings on 125. Up to 100. Who did I see the other day that had it on like 400? Last time I tried to put it on 400, the sim crashed before it could even load. Could download X Plane on my phone and fly along. Get infinite flight. Alright, um, so. Assuming we're going departures off 2-7. Envoy 50, airborne passing 2,200. Envoy 50, contact Melbourne Central, 123.75. 123.75, see you next time, Envoy 50. We want performance. Uh, probably 4.5, you on frequency yet? Minute, because it's almost finished loading. And then we'll get going. Velocity 445. Oh, the controller's eating. Yeah, it does sound like he's eating, right? Four more passengers. Done. Only five empty seats. Does this actually tell you passengers? It does too. Look at that. Seven tower velocity four forty five with you three four. Velocity four forty five, clear to land on my three four. On my three four, clear to land. Velocity four forty five. Got even got status for the passengers. Um, they're very, uh, Nordic sounding names, all of them. Okay, um, 58, 8, 31, 4. Stomach is rumbling like crazy. To because I stupidly didn't eat before streaming again. Cool. Sent me a PM in Discord. Alright, um, performance. Large performance. Um, we're gonna go with flaps two. Uh, actually, we might do F and force toga. I have to redo the calibration on the throttle. 120. Well, 120, 140, 140. Down 03. Velocity 445 has vacated 34. 
I've lost me 445. You're a bad choice. I'm going to go to bed. Righty. Again, Did you put your. Uh, yeah. Uh, do you have a specific parking bay in Speak mind? Speak to you tomorrow. Bye. Uh, negative. Anywhere in Terminal 3 or 345. Uh, velocity 445. Taxi Tango Three. Alpha Golf uh, to Bay of Your Choice. Taxi Bay Tango Alpha Golf to the Bay of Your Choice. Velocity 445. Cool, cool, cool. I think we're good to go. Uh, truck flight plan up on there. Did we get a load sheet yet? No. We need it. Not really. Performance up on that one. That. That across. Don't need my. Um, and I think the other. Get the AC. Melbourne Tower, good evening. T goes. Two one four at Sand Fox Twenty in Melbourne, requesting IFR clearance for Bruce in Sydney. You've got all the dead air. You've got two one four. You are clear to Sydney. Out of yes, Melbourne Dursal. tonight. Yes, Dursal. Flight plan route. Dursal one departure. Runway two seven. Climb by the set five thousand. Squawk four zero two four and departures with centre one two three decimal seven five. APU. Clean to Sydney via flight plan route, Docel, Docel 1 departure, runway 27, this is cleared to 5,000 feet, walking um, 4024 and departures with the time on here, um, 16, we got time, Tigo 214, get way bugger off, yeah, 245 ready for push through, so you get 245, push your first, I'm gonna have to wait for you to move. So worried that this is crash. Um. <laughs> yeah, you could see that he forgot to take his brakes off. So that's uh, the parking brake should be set, so let's get rid of the box. Tug. And uh, wait for Oz Gorilla to get out of the way. We really need Melbourne scenery. I'm trying to be a pushback that I never should be a pushback driver. <laughs> I should be able to push, yes. Uh, I mean, there's room, but... Is he going to tell me to just hold and wait for you to pass? No one's made that. Well, Orbex is going to. They're just uh, taking their dear sweet time, I guess.
Netflix. Netflix. Yeah. Yeah. That's what's thank you for that, 3605. Uh, taxi straight head on to Alpha to the holding point of runway 27. Taxi holding, holding point Alpha via Alpha. You're taking one six eight. Fair answer twenty six question. And that's twenty six, giving way to the teaching A three twenty who's passing behind you, push approved. Push approved giving way to the uh, strategic bus behind and set twenty six. we go. Wrong way. Terrible push. Bad, stop beeping and dinging at me. That one, that's their fault. Oops. Now, now, engine started. We'll uh, the taxi and we'll get moving. And Tower and set twenty six ready taxi. And at 26, uh, can you also take an alpha uh, departure or will you acquire full length? Um, which runway are we talking here? I was like, runway 27. Oh, uh, no, I definitely need full length, I think. No problem, mate. Wasn't sure how heavy you were loaded. Um, straight ahead onto alpha, then echo, papa, hold point runway 27. Alpha, echo, papa, holding point 27, and answer. And that's racing. Yeah, I don't know that I'd be able to go from Alpha. That doesn't seem like much runway. Hold off buying any MFS scenery for Australia until more airports are released. Um, there's a there's a decent amount of airports currently out. We're sort of still missing we're missing Darwin. For capital cities anyway. We're missing Darwin, uh, Canberra, and Melbourne. 
but everything else, all the other capital cities are covered, which is pretty good. Um, Perth, Brisbane, Sydney, Hobart. Adelaide. Oh shit, wrong button. But uh, Echo. Liked uh in section of the uh, Yeah well. Right. We'll go full length. My hands are cold. It's very cold yeah, today. Just start 510 looking for our push and start. Just start 510, push approved. Got some crash? No. Just, uh, Luckily. Alright, let's do some uh, button pushing. Do that. Uh, we need to pull that. We need to. That's Tango. We need the next one. Cool. Uh, we can turn that off. Two, two, four, five, three, and that's six, fine. Now, one, They're three, fine. Six, that's fine as it is. What we need to do is uh, the two, trim two, four, five, holding fine. point. Actually, apologies, Peter. Two, four, five. Did you say you were ready, or that you were a bit short delay? Uh, we're ready, and we're requiring one zero second delay. Then I'm like, oh, sure, we'll take off. Uh, that's fine, strategic two, uh, 245, runway 27, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, uh, strategic 245. No, you'll, you'll know that my sim is going to crash when it, like, the sound stutters. The sound will stutter and then it'll, it'll freeze. And that's when I know that the sim is going to crash. Down. I really hope performance is better in Sydney, but I'm not um, counting on it. Our NZ26 already. NZ26. Auto save that works. Yeah, the um, the Volanta auto save is not very good because it doesn't save the panel state. So it'd be fine for for GA, but for aircraft like this, it, it's yeah, not it doesn't work. And I'm not going to pay 25 euros for FSUI PC. That's ridiculous. When they used to sell it for like eight euros, now they want 25. Open mode, open the log window. You may see a lot of errors. Model matching textures. On. Uh, I don't know if it's that. I think it's just the weather and uh... Yeah, NZ tw uh, 26, runway 27, line up and wait. Line up and wait, 27, NZ 26. Um, I would assume that it's... Uh, contact um, Melbourne Centre, 1, 2, yeah, 3, the, general, the weather five, and... Flight. Flight. And this aircraft. Yeah, I, I tried it in PMDG. It loaded the aircraft, loaded the flight back up, but it didn't load any of the panel state at the time of the crash or at the time of the autosave. Well, the triple four, you are cleared to Sydney via Dosal flight plan route. Dosal one departure, climb by the set five thousand. Squawk three two four five departure with center one two three decimal seven five. Clear to Sydney for Dosal and Dosal one departure. I think it's the runway. I'll just get the climb for initial five thousand. Squawk three two four five and departure with three on center one two three decimal <coughs> seven five. Voltage four. Voltage four four. That is our uh, runway two seven. Sorry. And at 26, runway 27, clear for takeoff. 
Just have a clue for takeoff and set 26. Let's go. Now we're just about 510, ready to taxi to 27. Ah, uh, just about 510. Uh, 701. Oh, I'll keep running late. Uh, Tig got 214. How close are you to taxi? Ah, uh, you're right to let that jet start through. Alright, good. Uh, jet start 510. Taxi Yankee Alpha Echo All right, to Holly Papa Pa, runway 27. Yankee Alpha Echo to Holly Papa Pa, runway 27, for jet start 510. So, apparently, I uh, did a little bit of a bunny hop there. And at 26, uh, contact departures, one, two, three, decimal, seven, five, have a safe flight. Over departures, and set 26, cheers. Alright, let's uh, chuck that on so the aircraft can do its thing while we switch over. I just got a and set 26, uh, passing 3,000 for 5,000. Set 26, identified, confirmed feed flight level 240. Set 240, and set 26. Hello, Center. 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 Hello, Eleven seventy four, that's approved. Envoy fifty request descent. Envoy fifty when ready, descend flight level two five zero. Descend two five zero when ready, envoy fifty. What are you, Skiday? Going completely to the Death dark star side. Five seventy nine, star clearance available. I have indeed. Go for just up um, I just got sick of all the five seventy nine about with Cleared uh, RB six Alpha RB3D. arrival, runway three four. So I uh, got rid of it zero. once the 73 and the Mad Dog came out. Six, three, four, and we'll maintain three, six, zero, just up off and on two. I love the wing views in this plane. So I got a 696 recent push for that. Quantum 696, push back approved. It was all of this, and as soon as PMDG released the PS3, yeah, exactly. Love breaking out of clouds, yeah. Just uh, 81, connect center on 128.85, um, see ya. The weather is garbage in Sydney, Over too, so we're gonna have, uh, you did a great job, mate. <laughs> have some fun getting through those clouds. Thanks, see ya. Seriously, Quantum 237. Flying this aircraft, I spent so much time in the wings. Niner thousand. Q and H. Niner. Niner zero. Doesn't last start to. God, yeah, it is. It's freaking freezing. Quantum 237. Can I What is it at the moment? Quantum 483. Descend by start. Five thousand. Runway three four. Expect RMP approach. Eleven degrees at my place. I had to go down to uh, the Southern Islands. Quantum 483, to send by Star 5 down. Uh, runway 3 7 four, degrees expect down. Expect RMP there. approach. Send by Star 5000, expect RMP runway 3 4, Quantum 483. Like. Jet Star 779, contact Tower 120 decimal 5. Clear. 120 decimal 5, Jet Star 779. Bong. Off we go. Hell, the wind come from? Yeah, there was a severe weather warning issued yesterday for for pretty strong winds. Uh, I I've closed everything up in the house. I just I'm gonna have to put the aircon on soon because I'm starting to lose feeling in my fingers and my toes. And I need my toes or the rudder pedals. And below ten wet. Yeah. 
I feel sorry for my dad because he's out on the tarmac at the airport in this weather. front of us yeah I, t I was trying to tell him to call in sick but he didn't want to but uh, yeah I um I don't think it's a great idea for him to go there. strategic 245 I'm just liable 370 and set 26 climb to liable 350 350 and set 26 um, the weather has, uh, or the rain has sort of... Like Envoy 50, descend via star, flight level 130. Descend via star 130, Envoy 50. Does he do? He, he works for uh, a certain ground handling company. Winds northerly 30 to 40 k's an hour, tending northwesterly 35 to 50 k's in the evening. So yeah, pretty uh, gusty outside. Haven't, uh, it wasn't when I was out there earlier. But yeah, we're, we're looking at a fairly cold week too. Sort of temperatures between like 8 and 17. So that's fun. Big man does nothing and talks a little. Yeah, he's, uh, he's at Donata. He does the freighters. Qantas 483, descend by Star 4000. Descend by Star 4000, Qantas 483. Clear up here above the clouds. In brief, don't need that. Uh, I have got music, but. Santa Claus 696, route to taxi, runway 23. Quantum 696, taxi via uh, Alpha to Holding Point Bravo to, to runway 23. Uh, we Taxi out to holding point Bravo 2, Roma 2, 3, Quantum 696. Um, and we're going to at some point be changing frequency. Quantus 483, descend via star 2500, cleared RMP, runway 34 approach. I wonder if he does anything, uh, any of the handling yeah, for anyone other than what he does. Cleared RNP, um, runway 34, Quantus 483. Quantus 237, descend via start at 8000, runway uh, 35, expect ILS approach. Descend to 8000, runway start, expect ILS on the C5, Quantus 237. Good day, Sam. I mean, he's got the same surname as me, so he's pretty well known around the airport. Um, he's worked there since like If big passenger airlines, airlines, yeah, especially seven four is going to be so good. I can't wait for that. Yeah. 
just uh, five ten with you on Quan. Five thousand passing, two thousand five hundred. Uh, he's uh, my dad's with the five ten. He's, he's mostly on the freighters, but uh, four, does zero. work on the on the ramp on as well. Two four zero, just uh, five ten. Every now and then. Stiff one broke his PC from testing the 800 for a minute. Stiff 1174. We're going to start seeing previews of the 600 soon. For some reason, the FMS isn't liking this RMPM 234. Wondering if I could shoot the ILS for runway 27. Stiff 1174. AFM recleared Lizzie 8 Alpha, runway 27. When ready, descend flight level 360. It's funny, didn't uh, okay, didn't recreate, didn't that uh, put out a thing the other day that they were salty about people uh, blaming problems on their uh, FMS uh, and shit? Yeah, Rendezzo said. Uh, in the update, roof cell thing on course will play for MFS. Maybe. I mean, they remodeled the cockpit for 737, I think, between NGXU and NG3. Possible. The wife doesn't. Said a good evening. Nice New Zealand 1984. Like getting it's... pounded at flight level 340. Is it the, like me that's quiet? Because that soon looks like it's peaking. Quantus 237, descend to 7,000. Descend to 7,000, Quantus 237. Okay. Um, I don't know. New Zealand 1984, your star clearance, Lizzie 8, Alpha, arrival, runway 34. Move the volume Maintain slider up a little three, bit four, more, zero. and maybe that'll help. Uh, the Lizzie 8. Runway a tree follower and we'll stay up here at tree follower zero. Um, on maybe it's pop. just that I don't have the mic right in front of my face. Center corner six ninety six runway two three ready to go. Six ninety six. I, I still, for the life of me, off. can't figure out how to get off two, three, run, uh, the sound off. from Vatsim to stay the same in my headphones, but lower on the stream five, because I know that it's loud. Six hundred cleared ILS runway three five. Isn't we have sort of 5,600 uh, on a C5 on a C37? Go plane. Um, let me turn this down, see if that helps. Turn it up on the headset. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I've tried fiddling with the levels of uh, of V Pilot, and sometimes it just it doesn't like me. Just a 579, when ready, descend flight level 250. Still can't bring yourself to fly an Airbus. This Airbus is quite nice. I'm, I'm really quite happy with this plane. On a flight A3 established on the RMP. I love the 8K textures too. One two zero eight five on a four eight three. Good night. Two goes two fourteen. Identified climb via seed flight level two four zero. So everything's so crisp. The eight K textures. Good for. Should Boeing centric. Well, I do enjoy the seven three seven in MFS a lot more than I ever did in P three D as well. So I get that. Uh. What's more in depth between what this and the FS Labs or this and the 737? One way 50, we all good to take the ILS runway uh, 35. One way 50, expect the ILS runway 35. Expect the ILS runway 35, one way 50. 
Um, I I think that this is probably more in depth. There's more that this aircraft can do. Like this can this can do offsets. It can do, you know, other stuff. I I should have had a list of things, but yeah, it it can do more than FS Labs. I feel. I I don't. I I wouldn't say that PMDG is more uh, systems depth than this. I wouldn't say that. Up to three five zero, just uh, five ten. We're cruising. Is my is sent by star nine a thousand QNH nine and nine and zero. No fly love is not. Send by star nine a thousand QNH nine and nine and zero. No voice at this. This is a Pro Sim A three twenty. Yeah, it does. Contact Canberra Tower. Um, every system. I I mean I'm not an Airbus pilot, so I don't know if every system is there, but there's, it's quite a lot. Um, the fly live doesn't work. Let's just get rid of that. And we'll just switch to this view. You get my ugly mug and, uh, and, uh, the plane. It just looks so fucking good. Top Gun movie today? Oh yeah, I've been hearing good things about it, but it's not something I'm gonna see. Um, don't forget, today's landing rate challenge. The landing rate challenge is gonna be done on the next flight. We're going into Santos Dumont in Rio. Um, there is a Jetstar five seventy nine, clear direct to Arby, descend to nine thousand Q and H nine nine one. There is a thread in the Discord. This one here, landing rate challenge. Go into there, put in your uh, your prediction, because Fly Live doesn't work with YouTube, so we do it through the Discord, um, and that'll be with the seven three seven into Santos Dumont on the next flight. Qantas one at Carag, contact Brisbane Centre on one two five decimal two. See ya. At Carag, contact Brisbane Centre one two five decimal two. Bonus one is that. Envoy 50, descend via the star 8000. Descend via the star 8000, Envoy 50. Old mate that, uh... Tickles 214, climb to flight level 350. Climbing flight level 350. There's old mate that took off while we were getting ready to start. Seven eight seven. I don't know where he went. Um, still in total rage mode over the blatant advertising in MFS. So we'll be wild till I watch the movie. Yeah, mm, yeah. <laughs> I'm not. I, I I mean I know that that's free DLC, but I've got really no interest in it carrier landing challenge maybe but the rest of it i gotta do i gotta fly some more in the mad dog too i haven't flown that for um for a little while now, not since the 737 came out. We're going to get the Mad Dog out and do some uh, some flights in that. Um, next month's landing rate challenge is going to be into London City, I think, with the 146. We'll do like, I don't know, Geneva or Zurich or something to London City. Um, that'll be uh, June uh, landing rate challenge. Of the flying challenges uh i i haven't really done any of them for a little while i think the last time i did some was when james was here and we were doing the muck up stream 
but I don't think I've done any since then. They can be fun though. Now, now the mic is peaking. Maybe I put the volume too high on that. Is the volume on my mic too high now? Or is it all right? I was listening to Danger Zone while zipping through mountains. <laughs> Doing the Mac loop. Perfect. Nice. Cool. I wonder if we're at cruise yet. Envoy 50, descend by star 7000. Oh, uh, yeah. Descend by the star 7000, Envoy 50. Descend by 10, just request the away from uh, the microphone for two minutes. I love the reflections it's in this. Approved. Seeing the reflections on the wing looks so cool. Corner 696, climb to flight level 370. After 370, three corner 696. You know what would be great? It would be great to have a 767. Super 1174. Bought Orbex Vancouver and P3D, you get MFS version for free. I thought this is important to announce. Yeah, the, uh, what is it? F Sim Studios or something, isn't it? F Sim, F -Sim Studios? Envoy 50 to send uh, by the star, 5600, cleared the ILS runway 35 approach. To send by the star, 5600, cleared the ILS runway 35, and I, uh, is yeah. 5400 the initial? Wasn't well, expecting uh, full discount. Yeah, no, neither was I. That's pretty good. The same five thousand four hundred. Clear the ILS uh, runway three five. We've just got that from Menzi. No worries. Tell me this doesn't look like a like a promo photo for an NZ A three twenty. Envoy 50, when you are established on the ILS, contact tower 118 decimal 7, see ya. Contact tower established, uh, no, it's gonna be 118 decimal 7, uh, Envoy 50, thanks very much, see ya. I wonder if BMDG was waiting for the 600 to release the, no the non-winglet version of what, the 700? Are you using autofocus? Yeah. I, I think, I, I feel like autofocus makes the pictures look better, like screenshots, like that's without it. And the clouds look like dirty fluff balls. At least when they're a bit blurry, they um, just look like dirty fluff balls, but not as um, sharp. And also you can get almost like tilt shift kind of effect, which I like. Jet star 579, descent by star 8000, runway 34, expect RMP approach. 8,000 for your points, but they're on the top of the... 1174, descend at 9,000, Q&H, 9,9,1. 9,000, 9,9,9. No, I, I don't think they, um... I don't think they have any plan of doing the, the non-winglet 700. I, I hope the 800 and the 900 at least come without winglets. Because there are still, there's plenty of liveries that could go without. But I don't know. I feel like they're probably not going to do that. How do you toggle it? Um, on the Xbox controller, uh, which is what I'm using for the drone camera, you hold down the Y button and then 
Also and press the B button. And that toggles the focus on and off. Either that or you can go into the camera thing. If it would pop up. You can go into the camera and just toggle drone focus mode. Velocity 15367. Squad 4366, velocity 1537. Velocity 1537, identified, cleared to Sydney, mackerel, planned route, maintain flight level 380. Sydney by mackerel, flight plan route, maintain flight level 380, one available. Yeah, it's connected to the USB. Manager. Velocity 1537, climb to flight level 390. Climb flight level 390, velocity 1537. Jetstar 579, descend via star 6000. Flight star 6000, Jetstar 579. Melbourne Centre, Tigos 214, request away from the property for a couple of minutes. Tigos 214, approved. I'm going to have to change frequency in a minute. Another thing to buy and control the thing. Yeah, I think I paid like Hello, Melbourne, Alicia, like a hundred and twenty bucks for this one. Three thousand, climb it five thousand. I'll tell you for Victor Romeo, Centre Good Day, identified. Climb by the speed of flight level two four zero. Via the seat flight level two four zero, Alitalia for Victor Romeo. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. Like the old days of play PlayStation being 20 bucks. Yeah. Or reduce speed to 40 knots. Speed at 11.74, reduce your speed to 40 knots. Reduce to 40, speed at 11.74. Oz, uh, what? Uh, what's your speed? Oh no, it's right. It updated. I thought I was catching up. See? This view plus this kind of song. Good match. The weather in Sydney. Twelve degrees <laughs> nine eight nine on the pressure. Uh three zero zero thirteen knots, so we're gonna be landing three fours. So it's gonna be just the rivet three onto the three fours, so pretty standard stuff into Sydney. Turbulence on final severe, wind shear reporter on rotation, runways 3, 4 left and right. So it's going to be fun landing into Sydney then. I'm slightly concerned about the, uh, the, the frame rate. Climb by the seat, flight level 240. Climb by the seat, flight level 240. 
South Park 10 back with you. Check South Park 10. 26 knot headwind into Adelaide today. Nice. Strategic 245, connect. Center 129 decimal 8, expect star clearance. See ya. 298, uh, see you later. Strategic 245. Answer 26, connect. Center 249, expect star clearance. See ya. Center 1298, answer 26. Have a good one. Heading 36, uh, correction 376. Alpha Golf Charlie 245, Melbourne Center. Cleared River 3 arrival, runway 34 left. When ready, descend to flight level 130. River 3, runway 34 left, and we're ready down at 130. Good evening, velocity 238 for Melbourne. Request clearance. Cool video with answer. I can't play it on. Uh, I can't play other people's videos. It's so loud. Velocity 479 Melbourne Centre. Clear to Melbourne Dyer Nat. Yeah, plan to flight level 370. Clear to Melbourne Dyer Nat. Yeah, and continue on 370 for velocity 479. Velocity 238 Melbourne Centre. Cleared to Melbourne via Bendo. Plan to climb by the SID 25000. Runway 23, Bendo 2, departure. Squawk 3757, departures with uh, me, 125, decimal 3. Alright, clear to Melbourne via Bendo, plan route to uh, runway 23, Bendo 2, departure. Climb up to the 5000 feet, squawk 3757, departures with you, base 16, velocity 238. That uh, sounds velocity like a Josh Boyks. I assume that is him, from the sounds of it. Gonna get a answer at uh, 26 with your flight level 350. Answer at 26, Melbourne Centre. Cleared River 3 arrival runway 34 right. When ready to send a flight level 130. Uh, cleared River 3 uh, runway 34 right, 130 when ready. Answer at 26. How did I know I was gonna get 34 right? Balls. All right, three, four, right. I also want to make classic seven fours. Yeah, it would be nice. I, I would keep an eye on um, uh, uh, Felis. I, I wouldn't be surprised if he brings his seven four over. Uh, temperature 12 degrees, nice and cold. Wind is 30013. I suddenly have a twitch in my eye. That's why I didn't put an arrival in because or an approach in because I didn't know whether they were going to give me left or right. Now I know that it's right. with x plane is he? That in there, so we need to change this. Sydney, Bravel, yeah. Cool. Performance. Cruise, descent, approach. So we are twenty. Been working with Felix to make a seven four seven SP and three hundred model for explain Let it edit the four. Yeah, I just I don't know. For people that still use X Plane. You know, it's good for them. Quite but six ninety six. Uh, re cleared direct Wendy. Uh, flight level three seven zero. Cleared Wendy nine alpha arrival runway three four. When ready, descend to flight level one nine zero. 
Um, I'm Usually not gonna. Like when the corner six ninety six, could you just repeat the stack there in front of us again? Corner six ninety six, cleared. Wendy nine alpha arrival runway three four. When ready, descend to flight level one nine zero. I wouldn't be reinstalling P three D or X plane for uh, for new aircraft. Like James asked me about the uh, FS Labs A three thirty the other day, and if it comes out for P three D first, am I going to corner six ninety six? Just confirm you cleared the Wendy nine alpha arrival runway P three D. Three, four, that, and nothing. when ready, no. descend to flight level one nine zero. Roger, clear. When the it, it's it's just really not three, not four, worth it. Ready, descend flight level one nine zero, corner six ninety six. I actually probably should stay in the cockpit because I've got to watch that uh, orbit ascent twenty miles. No, nah, I, I definitely won't. Look, I know that FS Labs are going to charge like a wounded bull for the A330, and there's no way I'm going to pay for it for P3D and then pay full price Quite again for it for MFS. Um, because you know that they're not going to do any sort of discounts. Hey, Pam, Director Wendy, just having a little bit of trouble with the FMS. If, if I can go without the 747... I can do without the FS Labs 330 till it comes to MFS. Quite 696, slowing the right turn now, Director Wendy. Quite 696. Uh, I didn't think they released. Uh, I pff, probably the two hundred. I, I don't see any sort of strategy in releasing one before the other because it's not like one of them has been more popular than the other. They're sort of on the same scale, so I, I would assume that it's going to be the two hundred first, which I'm okay with. Six miles. My hands are freezing. Mock aerosol for not keeping their promise. Uh, which one would they have access to? I don't know, but I, I feel like that that excuse from um, from Aerosoft was a cop out anyway. Like, even if Lufthansa was the airline that they got their data from, Lufthansa has had both the 200 and the 300. They also have in the Lufthansa group, Swiss, who has the 200 and I think the 300. Two, four, five, three, clear, direct sausage, descend to flight level 130. Was Gorilla? What was I at? Three four or three five? It was three five, wasn't it? Um, could be true they only have access to two hundred, but they could adapt to three hundred good programming. Something else I didn't care about. Uh or only three hundred access. 
Yeah, well. And all set up both future city at base. And we're looking for a star clearance. Two in. Two in. Two in. Two in. I knew that was going to happen. Two in again, sorry, velocity 238, push approved. Hey, it's push back approved, velocity 238. Just up 510 at Melbourne Centre, cleared River 3 arrival runway. <laughs> I thought it was you, Josh. Center, flight level 130. River 3 arrival, 3-4 uh, left, and when ready, down to 130 for Jetstar uh, 510. This has both 200 and 300. Yeah, that's what I thought. And then who else was in the... Who else was in the Lufthansa group? 500 climbing 5,000. Just uh, 790 Melbourne Centre. I identified Resumo Navigation Direct Banda. Client of flight level 370. Direct uh, Navigation Direct Banda, flight level 370. That's 790. Uh, Euro Wings is another one. They've got A330 200s. Tigos 214 Melbourne Centre. Cleared at River 3 arrival runway 34 right. When ready to send a flight level 130. Yeah, so, you know. Aerosoft is. It, it was, it was bullshit. They. Probably what happened was they didn't get the sales that they expected to get. Um. And then decided to just ditch it. Edelweiss, yeah, Edelweiss as well. But I don't know if I don't know if that's a a Lufthansa Group airline. I don't think it is. Osgrill has gone direct to Sausage, and he gets to land on three four left while I'm stuck on. 3 4 right. A long taxi in. Oh well. We don't get to land on that runway very often. I have to go put the, the heater on. 790, contact center 130 at Ash Monona. 790, Negative. Oh, so just a 790, climb portal 370. Just a 790, Melbourne Center. Alright. Put a jumper on? I don't want it. I don't want to put more clothes on. I'd rather put the heater on. Alright. Velocity 238, request taxi. Velocity 238, taxi on the point Bravo 2, runway 23. Point Bravo 2, I will. Two. And velocity 238 ready. Yes, it does. Hang on. Allow me to show you. Jump for us. Yeah, I know. There's one there. There's another one there. There's another one in the basket in the on the floor there. 
Well, I've got many choices, but you know. New Zealand 1984 descent via the start of 2500. Cleared RMP approach on my 3 and 4. Report established. The test.exe was the malware that. Um, the RMP tree follower will co established New Zealand 1984. Yeah, test.exe was the malware that FS Labs put into the A320 to try and catch the pirates. Rex 141, Melbourne Centre, identified, climb by the fit to flight level 380. Oh, 380, Rex 141. Kilo Juliet, November, Melbourne Centre, Squawk 4074, no reported IFR traffic, go ahead. Four four zero seven four and uh, copy traffic kilo Juliet November. Uh, departed one hill at time two one uh, on climb passing four thousand three hundred or five thousand and uh, expecting uh, tail at time five seven. Kilo Juliet November. And Melbourne Centre Velocity two thirty eight two thousand nine hundred climbing five thousand. Velocity two thirty eight identified climb by the fit to fly level three nine zero. Oh, Velocity 390, uh, any chance to cancel the speed for Velocity 238? Velocity 238, cancel speed. Chance to cancel speed, Velocity 238. Yeah, I, I'm kind of curious to know what the, um, because someone posted a picture of that floppy disk into the FS Labs forum. I'm kind of interested to know what the talk was behind the scenes in regards to that. Because I, I, I feel like FS Labs probably wouldn't be able to take the joke. I may be wrong, but I just... they It feels like they're the kind of people that would probably get a little bit um, litigious. Alpha Golf Charlie, 245 descent to 9000. QNH 1, correction, QNH 989. Runway 34 left, expect ILS for it. You're very quiet on uh, on the VAT signals. Since uh, New Zealand the 1984, we've just uh, gone to throw the feet out. We actually had this issue departing Sydney. We've got a severe wind shear event. Uh, so we'd like to cancel the approach. We'd like to tear off somewhere, enter a hold for about uh, five minutes and run some cheeky listies. Uh, New Zealand 1984 project, um, hold at Actel, free test. Take them to court uh, over just it. Just on Actel basically. right now, stand by, or, we can probably do that for you know, one You cause a, a legal um, stir. Long 41, Melbourne Centre. Melbourne Centre, go ahead. Long 41, advise intention. Second work in the Canberra area, uh, Long 41. Long 41, you cleared uh, circuits camera surface to 5,000 uh, and report up to normal time 4 5. We'll go 041. How do you swipe? Oh, that's like that. Under 1984 is just on the left turn, uh, basically heading south. So we're just trying to set up the uh, hold for Actel. New Zealand 1984, Roger, advise if you're uh, unable to hold an act off. Uh, give us two shakes on the southerly heading, we should be able to sort it out to uh, 1984. Answer 26% via start at 9000, QNH 9989, on my 3 4 right, expect ILS approach, confirm you're in receipt of information, Foxtrot. We have Foxtrot down to 9,000 when uh, on the star. Uh, expecting ILS 34 right. And set uh, 26. That's 8,000. That's at 26 from Bigham. Cancel star. Cleared direct NDEV. On descent 9,000. Uh, from Bigger and Cancel the Star to Rec to uh, NDEV 9000, NZ 26.
Cool, we'll wait till we get to uh, just before Bigham. Go direct to NDEV. Getting a little bumpy? Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing that. Little lumps and bumps on the way down. Sorry, 1696, I've missed all of that as you go again. Disregard. We're going to go uh, auto brake medium and probably full reverse because... Okay, New Zealand 1184, we've done it real quick. Uh, we're inbound to Actel and right turns and we'll maintain 2500, confirmed. New Zealand 1984, position 13 miles south of Melbourne, resume navigation direct to Actel, descent to 2500, cleared RMP approach from my 34 report established. Oh, that's great. Sir. Okay, uh, we'll just take up the hold at Actel. Try and figure things out, and we'll advise when we're ready for the approach. One nine eight five. Zero nineteen eighty four. Apologies. Uh, cancel approach clearance. Hold it. Actel. Advise when ready. Okay. Yep. And just to confirm, it's a right hand uh, Ooh, turn at Actel for us may, at two thousand five hundred. May not be so good. Uh, landing weight, I don't even know what our landing weight uh, is. 1984, are you able to make it left hand uh, turns at Actel? Uh, yep, we can do that, 1984. Uh, Long 41, confirm mm, maintaining block surface seven. to 5000 feet circuit. Reducing to 5000, apologies. Yeah, it's about 625. Right. Rex 141, be advised that uh, severe wind shear reported, passing flight level 250, position uh, 10 miles south of Wollongong, type 09036. Copy, Rex 141, we'll look out for it and let you know. Upper Gulf Charlie 245, descent to 5000. 5000. The one on A4 just confirmed it's about to cross over Actel and we've got uh, left hand turns of Actel in the hot. Zell 1984. He's at 8,000, right? Is that uh, 8,000 for ANSAT 26? ANSAT 26 just said 8,000, ASAT. 8,000 uh, ANSAT 26. All right. I think we're pretty close enough to... Let's go. Um... I'm... 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 Tower. Lossy 1537, Melbourne Centre. Is, uh, is 1537 Josh? Melbourne Centre, Long 41, we've gone here. Fine. Long 41, confirm you're making a landing. Uh, There's Wilton down there. Negative, we've unfortunately crashed. Uh, not Wilton, right. Wedderburn. My, uh, my old boss had a hangar there. Crashes are sort of a landing. It's uh, one nine eight four. Campbelltown. We're going to do one lap of the hold and then uh, pick up the approach from Akita. My house is up here somewhere. November five two zero ten. I went down here today. Down that road. November 520 Tango. November 520 five, Tango, confirm airborne and report level. November 520 Tango, we are airborne, flight level 050. Zero, zero. November 520 Tango, I identified, climb by the set to flight level 410. 
Five You know the general area that I live in. Like, that could be anywhere in Sydney. Four one zero five Six ninety six contact center one two three dash one seven five. One two three dash one seven five. Still the national park. Gold Charlie two forty five. Descend at three thousand cleared. Islet approach runway three four left. Report established. And set 26, descend to 3,000, cleared eyeless, approach runway 34 right, report established. 3,000, cleared eyeless, 34 right, report established, and set 26. Call for good evening, Condor 245, passing 3,000 for 5,000. Condor 255, Melbourne Centre identified, climb via the seat to flight level 370. Climb via the seat to flight level 370. a little bit of time cutting out, there's uh, other few. Oh, that's out of ICU, 1537 What did I put on there? I did put... 1537, Melbourne Centre, cleared rivets, 3 arrival, runway 34 left, when ready to set a flight level 130. Uh... Earth arrival, runway 34 left, runway 34 left. There is no brake thing on here. That was... What was this? This was... Oh, so just, uh, 790 script, a minute bottle, 35. Air brake. Just, uh, 790 second. Yeah, there's no, uh... Just, uh, 790 request, amended, flight level 3500. Just a 790, climb to flight level 350. 350, just a minute. Good one, Anna. It's uh, four miles from Acto. We're tracking direct to Acto and set up for the approach, tree foot. New Zealand 1984, cleared RMP approach on my tree four, report established. We'll go established RMP tree follower, one nine eight four. I'm sort of close to 696. Uh, about 20 miles from Wendy, flight level 200, requesting lower. For a 696, Melbourne Center, descend to flight level 130. Down to 130, corner 696. This is a suburb here called Bundina. And to get there, you have to take like a 30 minute drive. You have to take a 30 minute drive through the National Park to get there. It's a pain in the ass. Just up 510, descend via start at 8000, QNH 9089, runway 34 left. Expect uh, ILS approach and re cleared direct sausage, descend to flight, uh, descend 8000. QNH 8000, direct sausage, and copy the QNH for just up 510. Thank you. Velocity, 1537, left 5 level, 4, 3, I know, Um, there's not really much there at all, it's just the National Park. Look, Eliza. Where's the... Come on, on eight, four, eight miles, VRF plus five, establish the, uh, has your what's it, runway tree five. New Zealand 1984, contact the tower, one, two, zero, for five, g'day. Great job, as always, again tonight, lads, see you next week, so tower, one, two, zero, Where zero, four, five, is all the weather? Because Sydney is not this clear right now, unless it very much cleared up outside. Velocity 15 at 37, re cleared direct sausage, flight level 130. That's us, it's shy 130, I see 15 30. Those gorilla? Come on, plane, we need to slow down because we need to get some flap out. Alitalia 4 Victor Romeo, contact center 1290, Dice Malad, expect star current. 2908, Alitalia 4 Victor Romeo. Center and set 26 established. And set 26, contact the tower 120 and ask for five. G'day. Over the tower, have a good one. Santa Alitalia 4 
Do you target a uh, NSAT 26 established uh, ILS 34 right? NSAT 26, uh, good evening, Sydney Tower winds 310 degrees, 14 knots, caution possible, wind shear on final, runway 3 for right, quickly around. Good land, NSAT 26. Uh, Enrico 2245. I don't uh, like that, degrees, that for some reason uh, the speed went back up to. Line. I know. Over speed. Sydney Tower, Alpha AT30, request direct taxi to runway 25, um, direct climb to 350 for that. What, uh. Um, station calling, I. don't. I don't know your intentions. I don't see a flight plan for you or anything. Have you caught up earlier? That's uh, quite the uh, quite the crab that we've got there. Uh, Charlie Uniform, were you awaiting circuit clearance? One thousand. Hey, Fab. Charlie Uniform Mike, what's the call sign? Uh, you are cleared to operate in the Sydney Sector area on AC4 right. right. Charlie Second, Uniform Mike, really? Not above 1,500. Really? It's called BFR. Cleared, so cleared operation in the area. Uh, runway 34 right, right hand circuit. Uh, Charlie Uniform Mike. Excuse me, go two four five is another approach. Uh, which is one? <laughs> Rico two four five. Roger. Hey, hey Jack, hey Jack, did you see that? Oh, Those guys went around. <laughs> A little bit more fodder for you. Uh, the you from Tango, there's some pelicans on three four right for the rally traffic. Be cautious. Be cautious. Did you just say there's pelicans? Remember you from Tango? Did you get the pirate? Hundred above. Uh, negative. I was uh, coordinating with another controller there. I'm sorry, Apologies. is there... I'm noticing some birds at the end of runway 3 4 right there. Minimum. Just one into the rabbit traffic. Oh, that's fine. Uh, Agrico 245, uh, enter the left hand uh, visual circuit for runway 3 4 left. 50, 40, 30, 20, oh, shit. So a uh, visual circuit Five. right there. Uh, left, uh, three. Oh. Left, uh, three. I found the uh, Mac Base 10. Oh, this performance, man. Sydney Tower Alpha AT30, BFR is filed. Alpha rating 30, I still don't have your flight plan in here. That was bad. Our NSAT 26 vacated uh, Tango 2. Yes, um, Delta Alpha Delta looking um, circuit clearance around the Sydney area. Delta Alpha Delta, you are cleared to operate in the uh, Sydney area. Runway 2 for right, right hand circuits, not above 1500, Scorp VFR. Not above 1500, um, Delta Alpha Delta. Is there anyone coming down this way? No. Charlie Uniform Mike and November Uniform Tango are. Uh, Alpha eighteen thirty. Checking if you got my flight plan for the tower. Alpha eighteen thirty. I still don't have it. You're going to be doing circuits today because that seems to be an issue with that. This. Operating Teddy, are you um, are you doing circuits? I just resubmitted my uh, negative. I just resubmitted my flight plan paper. Come through this time. Uh, 
Don't forget that. Operation okay, Teddy, I think I may have identified the problem. Just confirm your destination, Apple. He's. He's uh, a little bit too busy with uh, to Yankee Nut Romeo and India Charlie instead of Sierra Sierra Yankee. I'm just going to. Uh, I'm just going to make my way down to. Uh, uh, yeah, it looks like it's a problem with VATS. I don't think it has that airport in its database. So and I'll just could, hold short of Bravo. Uh, could you just. Um, could you file for an airport well, nearby and I'll show you if your flight plan comes through? I could probably just route. file for banks here. Yeah. I'm the Vermeer from Tango to the airport having aircraft having troubles. Try Yankee Romeo Whiskey Kilo, that works for me if I'm doing circuits. Y Yankee Romeo Whiskey Kilo is the, the top arrival, sorry. <coughs> oh, start doing circuits, mate. Yeah, he's because he's too busy up. dealing with these clowns. Uh, apologies, I'm the Vermeer from Tesco. Qantas 1-5, you you're cleared to Melbourne via Wollongong flight plan route, runway 24 left, Wollongong 2 departure, time via C25000, squawk 4330, and departure frequency 129 at decimal 8. I'm just gonna taxi my way uh, up to the terminal uh, myself. I know the taxi caution, routes. Possible wind shear on rotation, runway six He's, left uh, left take off. He's quite busy with some uh, troublemakers over there, so... Uh, Alpha 1830, uh, the flight plane comes through, Taylor. Alpha 1830, that's uh, BDX, it's coming through now. Uh, just turn off the clearance. Roger, stand by. What is 1-5, cleared by the Wollongong flight plane route departure, runway 34 left, 4320 at bottom, and click it at departure frequency. Uh, departure frequency is 129 at decimal line. 29 at decimal line, All stations are stationed, Sydney Terminal Information, Golf, changes winds 320 degrees, 125 knots, temperature 12, QNH 990 hertz, best scale, information Golf. Roger, Alpha 1830 with information Delta. Just our 10, establish 3 4 right. Just our 10, good evening, Sydney Tower, continue approach. Sydney Tower, Delta right, 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 Delta Delta right, 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 Delta uh, negative, it was Tango 3. Tango 3, Delta Rock, Delta. Uh, answer Charlie, 26, did I give you a taxi clearance? I can't remember. No, I think you're a little bit busy, so we uh, decided to do it ourselves. Handset 26. And set 26, that's no worries. Uh, taxi by Bravo, cross runway 25, uh, and then just take off to the Messi 2 bay. Uh, Bravo, cross 2, uh, two five, uh, go off to the bay. Handset 26. I was not about to sit down there at Tango 2 for 40 minutes while he's fucking around with these guys. Not a chance. Alpha 18-30, uh, sorry about that clearance. I can't give you 2-5 for departure because we're running parallel runway operations, but uh, I have your clearance available when ready. Awaiting clearance, 18.30. After 18.30, you are cleared to uh, Richmond, uh, VFR. Runway 34 left, maintain 5,000. Uh, correction, uh, sorry, maintain 5,000. Uh, squawk 3340 and departure frequency is 129 a decimal line. Three three four zero at the part of one should turn to the next one, eight. but that's alright. Wait four thousand uh to the departure alpha eighteen thirty. Charlie for Mike request taxi. <laughs> Just 
going around the world. Don't mind me. Charlie Uniform Micro Quest Taxi Clearance. Uh, well, Session Sydney, can I just had a brief um, connection issue there? Can you guys all hear me fine? 5x5. Five five. Yeah. Jet Star 510, clear to land. Jet Star 510, sorry, my uh, connection cut out. Winds uh, 320 degrees, 15 knots. Caution possible, wind shear on final. Runway one, uh, 34 right, clear to land. 34 right, clear to land. Jet Star 510, thanks. Sydney Tower, Charlie Uniform, Mike, request back to clearance. Trying to get for my, uh, follow your buddy all the way down to the Tango 3 point. Follow traffic, uh, Charlie Uniform Mike. Now for rating 30, um, sorry about the wait. Taxi by Golf, Just uh, up Charlie, ten. cross 25, Hotshot Private 10. Hotshot Private 10, uh, Golf, Charlie, cross 25, uh, Alpha 1830. Just off 510 North running there, I saw you bother it. Thanks for that. Alpha 1830, just confirm you're doing VFR at 46,000 oh, feet and night time. Okay. Have you seen a cross pipe? Rico, two for five, uh, good evening, sitting down. Alpha 1830 is F18 slash F. Uh, we're doing NSF for 40, what level? 460. Uh, Robert, thanks, man. Uh, and also, can you support my child, please? I feel like this jetway is way too close to the plane right now. Just a uh, five ten. Good evening. Welcome to Sydney. Taxi via Lima. Uh, Bravo. Cross runway two five. Uh, Golf to the bay. The, uh, what was the landing rate on that? Because it wasn't good. Golf to the bay. Three thirty nine. Not the worst I've ever done. Comes Oz Gorilla on his second attempt. Uh, just off five ten, just hold position for now. Sorry. Just off five ten, holding position. Not a dubbo. Uh, take us to fourteen. Get in, Sydney Tower. Made I am established. A short final runway three four left. Right, three four right. <laughs> Tell you from a mic hole position. Charlie from Mike, hold position. Hold position, Charlie from Mike. Take off 214, uh, caution possible wind shear and turbulence on final, runway 24 right, clear to land. Caution on the turbulence and wind shear, 34 right, clear to land, take off 214. Just off 510, you can now continue taxi, sorry about that. That's right, Ta continue taxi, just off 510. I want to get one more, one more screenshot here. Sydney Tower, Charlie Uniform Mike is on the intersection of Lima. Do you want us to reposition to Bravo? Uh, Charlie Uniform Mike, uh, negative, just hold current position now. I've just got you there so that uh, that jet star traffic can uh, pass. That's what you go around for Sydney. Hey, fam, Charlie, there's a light. 
I would rather slam the aircraft down onto the runway at like 700 feet per minute than go around. I don't care how bad it is. Alright. Let's disconnect from that. And, uh, head back to the main menu and get the next flight set up. Do you think for the life of me I can remember what the uh, airport was? Ryan Eckhold. Um. S B C T. I don't know if I should restart the sim. Maybe not. It'll take too long to reload. Well, that was fun. Done for the night. Oh, come on. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to Santos Dumont. CT? Any airline high doors, they would go bankrupt just if they go around using up extra fuel. Poor Oz Gorilla. But the poly yeah, that's the be that's the best scenery for it. Uh what's the time there? 752 in the morning. Nice. We'll go with that. Uh put all players back on. Because we're doing this uh on the multiplayer. We do. Put a bit of uh, put a bit of friendly uh, rib ribbing, not rimming, ribbing. Uh, never hurt anyone. Uh, where? What server? Uh, I think I'm on North Europe, but I'll probably change that. It'll be South of uh, Southeast Asia. Me do some white play. Goal. I don't know what the flight number was. I just looked at it and I can't remember. Uh, twenty eighty nine. The weather here is shit. I can barely see some of the other gates. This. Um, alright, server. What server? Let's go Southeast Asia. Nope, that's where USA. Southeast Asia. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. Um, the other thing I need. That 
one. Departure, whatever the departure is. Uh, apparently direct. Is there no departure out of this? There is. Upload one alpha. Charts. Let's uh, get some stuff going. Come on, look. Fine as it is. That. That turns back off. That's fine. All right. Um, FMC. In it. That in there. Seven minutes. Questions. What do we got in this? So we got pounds or kilos? Pounds, good. Um, we want 13,328 pounds of fuel. And uh, payload, we've got a zero fuel of 114.3. So pretty full in the cabin. Uh, that there for now. Oh, that's right, the jetway doesn't connect on this. And I don't have the pushback thing anymore, so... That. I'll let that do its thing. Uh, what do we got? We got S, B, C, T, U, S, B, R, uh, J. 375 miles. Not, not a particularly long flight, about an hour. Um, if you haven't already, jump in Discord and uh, put the old uh, landing rate prediction in there. Because at the moment, there's only two. Um, I might just a reminder what if I can do a reminder in in Archer, 1-5, Supla, 1-Alpha, Edveb. Altitude Constraint, Supla. Right. 12,000 and below. That's fine. Uh, oops. Point one. Cost index of ten. And we're going to three nine zero. Uh, quite an altitude. 
one. We've got 261, 101 knots. Bloody hell. 261, 101. Hit that. Uh, transition's 9,000. Um, probably derate it. Go flap one. Cool. Oh, modded default MFS to make a uh, short update. Yeah, they did. Someone did do that. Uh, zero five zero three knots on the runway, and I don't bother with s runway slopes. Uh, Nine thirty thirty six. From there, we're going straight up to three nine zero. Click, click, click. Perfect. All right, so we're just waiting for the uh, IRSs. Uh, I do have Valenta going, yep. And it is connected. Um, I'm at five, I think. Pretty sure it's five. I'm going to be able to do an intersection departure here too. Take off from that. A nice little freeware uh, scenery from the flight the uh, from the TO. What's going on with that jetway? Oh, it's too. Okay. Clever use of a jetway, I guess. What airport is this? Uh, it is Curitiba. Uh, S B C T. Oh, irises are aligned. We're uh, I'm ready to go. Is you're still loading, Jack? Airport cargo cargo lux used to fly to. Well, grab the. I put the link for it in um. In the announcement post in the Discord. Oh, you're not in the Discord, are you? Yes, you are. Um. I put the uh the link for it in the Discord. So when the seven four seven comes out, we'll have a nice little destination to fly to. You ready? Where are you? You some are off in the fog. Alright. Um let's uh oh, that's the camera. Get rid of the jetway. That's it, yep. Yeah. I'm not seeing you on Volanta though. About the AP.
Jack, I think you're on the same gate as me, and that's why you can't see. We can't see each other. Um, if I had to guess, that's probably what it is. The the visibility is getting worse. On same, yeah, we are, but I think we're on the same gate. Yeah, if, if, if we're that close to each other, it won't show up. You watch. I'll start pushing back, and once there's enough distance, you'll, you'll appear. Um, release, and go. Well, four would be that one, I think. Still, this every time when I push back with this aircraft, I get this pause. So it's not the the, the toolbar that was causing this. time now start turning mm, I'm gonna have to stop this pushback See, there you are. Actually, the pushback didn't didn't turn out too badly. I'm not too displeased with that.
this weather. All right, we needed five fifty five on the trim. Close enough. Let's um, get at all. Eight likes on the stream. Cheers for everyone uh, sticking around and giving a like. If you're new and you haven't already, I can subscribe my way. I very much appreciate it. I'm definitely going to need the uh, old charts on here. Visibility not so good. Move flight request? No, I didn't. Still there. It's uh, it's in the members lounge though. I think we need to make a turn here. Here onto Bravo. Golf or water? No, golf is what I just came from. I think. The, I think the, the sim is struggling on performance because I'm streaming as well. Um, yeah, it... Uh, I don't have... Even with the Phoenix, I, I don't have performance that, as bad as I did on the last flight when I'm not streaming. new PC will you use the old one as a uh probably yeah I, I think the I think the uh, the new PC will be sometime this year um now that work has picked up again almost back to pre-covid uh um workload actually I, I would actually say that it's even more than pre-covid um and yeah now I'm getting paid again so, I don't think I've spent enough to be at a good place simming wise, something like buying new motherboard. Yeah. New price dropping never. Yeah. Yeah, I think, I mean, I think the 30, the well, the 3000 series is the way to go, but whether it's a 3090 or a 3080, I, I don't know about that. Let's see how fast the sims load with my Gen 2 M2 drive. I um I found out that my uh C drive is an M.2 and cuz I wanted to replace the I wanted to replace all my hard drives with with well especially the flight sim one with an M.2 but there's only one slot in the in the motherboard for it so I can't and with 3060 and I'm enjoying it yeah, I, I think that's what it'll be. It'll be like a 30, 30 60 or 30, 70 for me. <laughs> so foggy that we can't even see Jack. Alright, so we're going to cross 1-1. One, one, then... Take off from Charlie at one five because I really don't think we need the full uh, seven and a half or seven thousand three hundred feet. Sixty eight seventy for a for a thirty eighty is not that bad. Yeah, see that that's the that's the thing with flight sim, right? 
you need to have the the extra VRAM because if you don't have that, that's where you're going to run into problems. I feel like we probably wouldn't be departing in this kind of weather. I'll catch up on chat in a sec. Two type right M2 uh, so badly, but couldn't afford that. Also, too good. Uh, tough economic year, at least PMD is rich. Yeah. Um, did Tavis buy it and ring fell saying so overkill with stats like that? Did he? The thing I love about it is the metal looks like metal doesn't turn blue. Yeah. Climbing out of the soup. This is PMDG panel recolor mod, uh, really? That's what I'm saying. The PBR in MFS is leaps and bounds ahead of what it was in uh, um, P3D. And I'll show you what I mean. The thing is, it's going to make it difficult to do some repaints. A little, bit a little bit bumpy. Eight glare effect making flight deck too dark. Yeah. Uh, you know, switch between the other sh uh, showcase view. Which one? Flying Tavis News SAS seven three seven repaint. Has he put out repaints for the for the for this sim? Is that out constraint? I 
the one where you can use the, the controller what from the cockpit um the the thing is and you know what really bothers me like you can move around the cockpit but can't get out the door so can't get in the cabin like that which is really annoying Yesterday released first one. Oh, but did, it, did he put it on the on the TO or where did he release it? I can itch on my finger. Let's have a look at that. Uh, no, I don't have Windows 11. Some good detail on this. Some scuff marks and missing paint. Bit of dirt. It's just the sim freezing. Why you do this, Flight Sim? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what causes it. Like. Everyone was saying, oh, it's the, the toolbar pushback, but it, it's, it's obviously not because I've taken it out. It's got to be something in the aircraft itself because it only does it with the 7.3. Oh, I don't need this thing. I got a new headset because uh, the old one sort of decided to crack and completely come apart yesterday or the day before so I had to order a new one good old Amazon Prime got it to me uh, what 18 hours after I ordered it Incorrect model of the BGL. Prints various CTDs if add ons are installed that uses file name. Okay. Back up the community fold up.
Maybe it'll, uh, maybe it'll help with it. Cause I'm still getting every now and then I'll still get, um, the symbol crash and it'll come up, uh, was blocked from accessing graphics hardware. So I don't know. Maybe that'll help that. Worth a shot. That anymore. Um, we do need... Have it as insert and then S and A keys. For, yeah, that's what I've got. So, um, like that. So to go into the cabin from the cockpit, insert first, then S, and then I can change the views with A and shift A to go backwards. You run MFS as admin? Probably. I really can't wait for, uh, chase plane when that eventually makes its way over um so what i was saying was bring up um oh no not that one definitely not that let's go with the dc6 Play nice Photoshop. Um, all right, so that's an MFS one, and then let's get a V3D. Oh, I probably should use a repaint that uh, actually has metal. Uh, let me maybe bring up the mad dog actually Get that load uh, just want weather radar and more weather effects like turbulence on planes I can live with the Vulcan yeah like I <sighs> Uh, active sky is something i think that we we need like the default weather engine is just meh except the default camera is not that bad after yeah it, i've gotten used to it i'll say that how to set an outside view and have a key command to go to that though uh i don't know that you can uh, actually no you can hang on um so what you would do Oh shit, that. Uh, let's say you want this as a view. I would assume that it's the same as the the cabin camera. It would be Control Alt, and then a number, or is it Alt Shift? Um, because you should be able to save uh, fixed cameras like these. Um, go back to the... Um, yeah, you should be able to set like fixed views like that. Active Scott's live issues, uh, creating an issue where X had an MFS. Can't do multiple map passing build. Yeah. Alright, um, so this is the, uh, what's it called? PBR. So this is a P3D PBR, which is all done in like green and, and yellow. So yellow and orange make metal, uh, and green is painted surfaces. But, that's the extent of it so you can't do a lot with that whereas you look at uh this is the mfs pbr where yellow is matte pink is bare metal and red is painted and it it creates a much more um 
realistic. It's it's a more in depth PBR. Like I feel like the the metal looks more realistic. It looks like you know polished metal, whereas this sort of looked like metal, but there was no like reflection in it, and this reflects the environment. So it's going to be fun to redo paints like this in uh, MFS. It's not going to be difficult to do. It's just going to be a fair bit of work to convert it to that kind of PBR. Uh, one of the few people I'm not missing flying in P3. I, I don't miss flying in P3D at all. I'm quite happy with where MFS is at the moment. And uh, the more and more aircraft that come out, the better. Like, more options to fly. And I, I feel like it's... You know, there, there's still a big divide in the, the flight sim community, but I, I think it's hard to say that this isn't where everything's sort of shifting towards. You know, we're seeing new developers come out of nowhere and putting out some good stuff, and people just putting out... The, the, the quality of some of the freeware airports that you can get off flightsim.to is insane. That mean uh, for Emirates paints the letters can have the gold effect and light shine. Yes, so that's something that I I I worked out how to do in in MFS is to have metallic but also have reflections. Whereas I couldn't do that. So Jetstar repaints in P3D, I couldn't have it be both metallic and reflective. It was metallic, but it was like a matte metallic. Whereas in MFS, you can do metallic and then have reflection like a reflection pro profile on top of that so it's much more realistic looking you know metallic uh, paint i picture bare metal american triple seven in mfs better back need to culture um surely someone i mean not that i'm condoning going and buying the captain sim but surely someone would have done one right uh quick squeeze But then again, it all depends on who has done the repaint, you know. Another pause. So this is the thing, right, with Captain Sim. I'll, I'll hand it to them that their model looks nice. But it's missing everything else. So it's great for screenshots. But that's about the extent of it. Done right, not the new captain scam. Yeah. The like the northwest livery, although that wasn't really all that reflective, I guess. But like, it's it it looks the 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 silver looks great. And that's the other thing, it reacts to the light properly. Actually, you know what I could have just brought up as an example? The TFDI MD-11, the screenshots that they put up of that. Like, look at that, that metal. Like that's, that's proper bare metal, you know, where you couldn't get that in, in uh, P3D. Oh, what have I done? There's crews. All right, we need to plan an arrival. 
Now is one zero zero seven knots. Zero to right. I think that's the uh, that's the the one that we want, isn't it? it? Is um. Uh, was the RMP whiskey? Yes. Fireball is the Ropa. Ropa's. Um. Have. Rival. Twenty seven four sevens, do you think we'll be flying uh when it releases for MFS? I mean, there's always gonna be cargo seven fours. But it'll be good to be able to do proper like long hauls when we get the triple seven and the uh, the seven four. Uh, I have whiskey. See how bad my memory is. Uh, and the Roper one Alpha Colby. So what do we got? We got 96 miles to the top of descent. Perfect. Someone count the 737 on VATSIM when released. There was a lot. But I think that's that's pretty um that's pretty expected. Like when the 800 comes out, there'll be there'll be plenty of those. It's true. We're missing a couple of things here. And it's frozen again. So from Gellert, we need to go RJ 931. Bloody freezes that I'm getting with the 7.3 really annoying me. All right, uh, RJ 931. And it's, uh, Need to be at 4,800. And uh, RJ31. That's uh, 3,500. Shit. Oh. RJ. Zero three one thirty five, and then thirty two at twenty seven hundred. one, hundred and sixty knots. Perfect. That up. Cool, cool, cool. We're gonna put the uh, altitude down to twenty seven hundred. But it starts descending when it's time because I'll probably not be in the cockpit and be looking at the exterior as I usually am. <laughs> there we go. Um, uh, does it change the window size and stuff? How much would that mess up the one hour deliveries? Probably not at all probably won't mess it up at all and if it does it'll be minor minor changes Did someone count the 73 as they've read that um you still call this a game um i still do but i i i stick by my argument of anything that is on your computer that you're sitting there with a controller and stuff is a game so yes it's a simulator but it's 
a game in the simulator genre if you know what i mean um so yes i still say that i'm playing microsoft flight simulator or i'm going to play microsoft flight you know so in that sense yes i still call it a game um enters any interest in 737 across the pond because westjet flies to a few places from halifax with with what aircraft the 800 or the 700 ever do that on straight I, I i feel like it's 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 too long of a flight like there's nothing really to do during cruise i i mean i suppose geo guesser is something that i always sort of filled time with so i guess that could be a thing but yeah i i do want to do i do want to do some more you know longer flights um, I was thinking the BBJ the other day, I was going to set up a flight from like Sydney to Honolulu or something, but I, I don't like leaving my computer on overnight to do flights. I'd need a, I'd need a day where I know that I'm going to be home all day and just sit there for the whole flight. Play other games when uh, you get it. Yeah, but I'm always worried, like even just opening Photoshop just earlier i'm always worried that it's going to cause some sort of graphic problem and crash the sim so i don't really like launching other things other games while i'm in mfs if it if they make it if the, if the sim becomes more stable sure but at the moment it's still pretty pretty volatile i thought it would be cool there you go gatwick presswick uh to halifax at Halifax, CYHZ. Um, I like calling it a sim, but you never say I'm going to sim today. Yeah, exactly. That's right. I, like, I, I, I never say, oh, I'm going to go fly in the sim. I would generally just say I'm going to play MFS. Or I'm going to fly. Like, being a good freeware singer is, uh, UKK is really good. It's better than the Payway Genisoft and UK2000 in P3D. Huh. Uh, is that on the TO? I've been looking at the scenery map on there just to get ideas of where to fly. Because they're... Oh, that's the wrong tab. The scenery map's pretty good. Just cut out all these other things. And just have international airports. Um, and that's sort of how I was finding sceneries. Because I didn't want to go from Sao Paulo. We've done Sao Paulo so many times to... Rio. Well, let's do something different. Something a little bit further. That's how I ended up down here. Um, whichever one it is. Oh, there. Because um, I was actually... I was hoping that there would be some uh, Brasilia scenery, but I don't think there was. Um, yeah, because I wanted to fly from the capital. But, uh, yeah, no luck. Like, look at that, like, 20 different scenery, airport sceneries, just in that little region. You know, it's, it's, it's pretty crazy that you can find some really decent stuff. Even that, I think that's a, that's a freeway one. Graf North Alt. Yeah, so that, that's I've been looking at this to try and find places to fly because, I mean, look, Europe, nine hundred and twenty-five sceneries in that area. Bendigo apparently been removed. A little fun GA flying with the PC twelve finally comes with uh Karen, not me, the other dev. Yeah. The uh the other thing I was thinking about the other day was the Aerosoft uh, twin otter and the CRJ, which I haven't flown for a while, but I mean since the seven three seven and the mad dog and shit come out has come out, the, the, the twin otter and the, especially the CRJ is just not the same level. 
recently bought the Shunt Scenery Sunshine Coast. It's how good is it? That he, Sean and uh, and Greg have done a, such a great job on that scenery. And I'm eagerly sort of eagerly awaiting what they've got coming next, if they've got anything coming next coming up uh, after. Uh, any, if, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, like they, for 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 a first time dev, they've done such a great job with this scenery, and it's just the area that it's in. It's such the the, the surrounding scenery is just nice as well. It's so beautiful flying in there. What about uh, Twitter? Really want to? Yeah, yeah. Unfortunate the Twitter, but you know we sort of expect that from Aerosoft, don't we? These guys, they they sort of, it sort of inspires me a little bit to, to want to try and do scenery development as well, because the, the community that we've got, you know, if everyone sort of came together and, and worked on something, we could probably, you know, work some miracles, but it's just a matter of actually having the time and energy to do it as a check-in and terminal interior. Yeah, I think that's becoming the standard for, for most sceneries now too. Like look at Hobart. Hobart's got the full terminal interior in there. And same with Essendon and, you know. Kind of seems expensive for us, like uh, big size airport. Uh, what, what is the actual price? Nah, that's 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 a good price for Sunshine Coast. Twenty five bucks is is pretty decent. When you compare to Hobart, which is a similar sized airport, and the Orbex or NZA are charging thirty almost thirty three dollars for it, like Sunshine Coast is a good price. I also, I'm trying to work out if this is my repaint. Um, but yeah, like. I really wish I could transfer my license for Hobart to Orbex. You're developable good. I wouldn't be developing anything for P3D. For MFS, I would give it a go, but for P3D, no. Not, it's not worth it. Like, James has been laughing at me the past couple of days because I've been talking about ROI on repaints. He's like, what do you mean ROI? I'm like, well, if people don't fly them, it's not a good... Like, the the... The return on on investment for me is when people fly the repaints or when they when i know that people are downloading them and flying them and and generally if i don't think there's going to be a good enough roi on a repaint i won't do it and this is what i was saying about the solomon's uh a320 to me the the roi is just not there and surprisingly the same thing happened with the anset repaints like Look, Solomon's has only got 23 downloads. That's been up there for five days now. I would have expected a lot more than 23. And same with Anset. Like, this one's got 107. Only 107. You know, when you compare that to, let's say, the uh, VA737 that I did, with 1,800 downloads, I actually think that's just about to overtake the Qantas DC6. It, uh, it has overtaken it. There you go. So, so this has now become my most downloaded repaint. Uh, Twenty bucks is around what big size MFS airport sceneries cost. Yeah. Well, oh. twenty bucks for Fly Tampa Vegas. How good is that that scenery though? How many people would download the Wanala liveries? Um. So again, I like I would hope that it would be, you know, a, a pretty well downloaded livery, but you, you can't tell until it's up there. If I want to look at scenery, I have a look through international. I I don't look at much regional stuff. I I look for international. I think we've just hit top of descent. It very much looks like that. Alright, now shit's getting serious. 
and uh not many um not many uh predictions in there it's literally just james and sam good regional level it's that phoenix and pit yeah and that's what i think that where that scenery map comes into play because it uh you know you can like it's easier to visualize what sceneries are available and shit like that um i can't remember if they premium yeah so and they've even got um sceneries that you can buy don't like participating in give giveaways come on man You could win a 25 euro sim market voucher and then buy Sunshine Coast. <laughs> oh shit. I keep forgetting to click out of the window before I zoom. Maybe I'll put my own prediction in there. Um. Let's go with good Sam. Sam said 365. James said 241. 213. I'm gonna go with 287. I I I, I think Sam's got a good uh, a good guess there, just based on the last time I landed into uh, Santos Dumont. And you, the people who support you and James financially should be the winner. Well, and this is the this is the whole point of the memberships in the Discord. Um, I I I want to do a giveaway, a members giveaway. Um, but at the moment there's only three members. Um, which isn't it's not an issue, but I'd like to have, um, uh, you know, more people in the running for the giveaway. But, uh, I mean, either way, with or without. Um, so who are the members? But Oz Gorilla, Oz, Sam, and you, Jack? James, Aaron. Well, Aaron's a also a member. Yeah. Um. What I what I'm thinking is because I don't think any of you guys have the one four six, right? I'm thinking that the first giveaway is going to be for the one four six. And that'll probably be next month. Probably mid-month. Yeah, but uh, what I need to know, I need to see... Um, how to do ah uh, they've got gift cards yeah so it'll it'll basically it'll be a gift card for the amount of for the uh the one four six so it's at 65 us um yeah it'll be a gift card for that amount and then you just go buy i mean whether you use it on the one four six or not but you know that'll be basically what the intended um prize is it's 
speaking of Twin Otter, over there. <laughs> On the fly, will you try and not smash it down? Like, <laughs> I mean, I'll try not to. I, I never intend to smash the aircraft down onto the runway. Sometimes I'm just a shit pilot and can't help it. Oh, I'm getting tired. I still haven't, eat, haven't eaten dinner. I'm going to do that after the stream. A little bit of turbulence. I think uh, Prozapin, they will get larger depending on size. More than likely, yeah. I think they'll probably still be a little bit cheaper than what they were in P3D, but yeah, I, I think if the 747 was 100 and... What was it? 139? I think for MFS, it's probably going to be about 100 and... I don't know, 115, 120. We need maximum breaky. Not max, but pretty high. We'll go with three. Another another freeze. <laughs> not happy to pay to not pay forty more with a hundred grand. Not happy to not pay 40 more with the 100 credit like they made it seem with the NGX. I don't know what you mean by that. I can't wrap my head around that statement. Jack gone. Jack, why are you why are you turning that way? They claimed we would pay forty dollars more with the NG3 release. A hundred credit to get the full Hey. Okay. And for spacing? Fair enough. Is this saying that this plane has Wi-Fi? What is that? Those are very dirty wings. See, now the performance is back up to 30 FPS. And I know we're not around anything, but... They do something to the windows metal um so the what they've done just uh move my droney camera over what they've done they've got a texture that's called wind fr or something so the window frames aren't uh like on the paint there's another texture for those, but you can't change the shape or size or anything. All you can change is the color.
and it's annoying that you, you can't get rid of you can't get rid of windows uh, I, it bugs me that you can't plug the windows uh, are you talking about the cockpit or yeah I don't know Oh, like these windows? That, that's what I'm saying. Like I, I'm, I am pretty sure that they remodeled or model re redid a lot of the cockpit because, I mean, look at the like the detail in these things. I I feel like there wasn't that much detail in them. You know, this is actually like part of the model, the the divots in this. Whereas before, I th I feel like it was textured. Um, so yeah, it, it, I mean, it wouldn't surprise me. I, I know what you mean, but it may be that it may be either the angle or the, the field of view and, you know. Yeah, I mean, that was something that they did between the NG uh x and the ngxu was they're like for for all that time of the ngx they're like no the windows are the right size and they're like the top of the window frame is up here they're like no no it's right it's correct it's modeled properly and then they didn't acknowledge it but in the ngxu they remodeled the cockpit windows to be lower like so which one's right you know the old ones or the new ones i'm gonna stop the music after this um cockpit dimensions they insisted were correct yeah i i had a i had a comparison picture a picture somewhere of the the cockpit fucking these freezers are killing me man this is why jack had to turn away and, and make some separation this is the worst i've seen though um yeah the the i, I had a comparison between the ngx and the ngxu and i remember the windows were like in the ngx were up here and then like a really sharp angle so they were even higher up here and they're like no no it's right it's right and i'm like no everyone was like no it's not right like the windows aren't that tall yeah i'll, I'll have to give it a go i'll i'll try it out um i'll i'll run it tonight and then whenever i get a chance next to fly i'll i'll see how it did I don't think I'll be able to fly tomorrow because I should be busy with work. All right, music's out. Then volume back on. Now, I have not done this arrival in this sim. Um, the last time I did it was still in P3D. Uh, I don't know how this is going to go. of Atlanta autosave on I do but it's useless because it doesn't um that's probably what the freezes are actually I may as well turn it off hey eh? yeah it was because it said two minutes ago that it saved so that's what it is so I suppose that Austrian repaint for the Phoenix model on black box discord screenshots nice In shots. Oh, look at that. Good, because I like this livery. And uh, I haven't flown the, the in-house one. I, I don't know what it is. Like, in-house repaints are always sort of not as good as what third-party repainters do. Which... I don't understand why, because surely they've got, like, someone that, uh... I really 
wish that that guy that made the toolbar pushback would fix it. Are you still there, Oz Gorilla? You should go put a prediction in. I know you said you don't want to because you won the last two, but you still should. He's playing uh, Modern Warfare now. Man, you know what? I sh I don't have the replay thing. I would absolutely love to watch a replay of the battle. Um, They take it out. Oh, that problem that you had with your sim the other day, Sam, where it paused and you couldn't move, this is how you get rid of it. So you bring up the developer console, go options, and then unpause it through this. What happened to the replay thing? gotten rid of it. Unfortunate. I think we're gonna probably need a little bit of spoilerage. A little bit above profile. And we gotta keep it tight for this arrival. That autosave thing makes sense actually. So that's what was causing the the pause every time I push back because it would start 
the the put the um, auto save timer, I guess, from pushback. I feel like we're gonna have way too much fuel. Like we got eight point five. It was supposed to be six point two on arrival, and even six point two is a lot. Very uh, wavy um, descent, isn't it? Yes, Sam. Why did the duck go to jail? Why? Why? Wait, can I guess? Did he quack under pressure? was caught selling quack well there you go quack is whack kids Where's why 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 am I why am I not got a little turny watsy arrow? And they got a pointer. Eat grapes from a lemonade stand. Um Uh never tried this, but does this work? Yep. Oh look, we have park, huh? Maybe that's where I went wrong all the other times that I've flown here. Um charts what do we got we got uh fixes there so 160 at uh 801 which is the next one after this so we need to be slowing down start getting some flaps out and uh probably going to get the gear out as well i think help us slow down Keep us slow. Need to be 160 by this one, 140 by the one after 802.
Yeah, this is where we're supposed to be at 140. But uh, it doesn't look like that's happening. When I flew the 7-4 here, yes, I do remember. Overturn. Bad. I feel like following the uh, flight directors is going to get me in trouble. Do I not have the scenery installed? Nope. Yeah. Doesn't look like it. What happened to my scenery? I'm sure I bought the scene. Or did I not buy it yet? Maybe that's something I was supposed to do. <laughs> yeah, no, I definitely don't have the scenery. Um, how did I manage that? I'm just wondering if I actually even bought it now. I'm... I thought I did. Well... I might have to fly here again in uh, a couple of days. Well, that's disappointing because the scenery is much nicer than this The market, get out of the way. This app version is no longer supported. Please update. 
Literally just did that. Probably should have turned all them off before, uh, or well, after exiting the runway. My bad. All right, I'm going to uh, watch Jack. Look, Jesus. Hi, Jesus. That explains all the awfully terribly looking, uh, Awfully terrible looking default buildings. Why is there no wheels? We'll watch Jack land, we'll have a look uh, what the landing rate was and if anyone won and then we're going to call it a night. Nice. And look, wheels. They finally decided to show up. I'm so disappointed that I don't have the scenery. Isn't there, why is there a massive gap in the jetways? Alright, well, anywho, um, let's have a look. What was the landing rate? Right. I told you that Sam had a good guess. Uh, so Sam guessed 365. The landing rate was 355. He was 10 feet off. So Sam takes it out this month. Santos Dumont, Rio de Janeiro city landmarks include MFS. What the hell? I do have it, but why is it not installed? Did I somehow delete the scenery? Oh, 
Well then. All right. Um, so I'll get Sam sorted out. Sam, just send me a, a message with your... Uh, uh, you were 10 off. Send me a, a message on Discord just with your uh, email address that you want me to send it to. And uh, yeah, that is going to do it for today. I'm going to go have some dinner. Um, and we'll do this all again. Uh, couple of weeks. Uh, I'm just trying to sort out the Discord. Please one sec. Alrighty. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll try and stream again this week. It just depends on how... I know I'm going to be busy with work tomorrow, so that's out of the question. But, uh, yeah, we'll... Uh, we'll uh, I'll, I'll try and get a, another stream in, in a couple of days. For now, though, thanks for sticking around, and I will catch you later. See ya.